All right, welcome everyone to Go In 5 Minutes, episode 20. Today we're gonna to talk about testing. Uh, this is one of my uh, favorite subjects. Testing can kind of make or break your software, as you probably know. So it's really important to get it right in our Go programs. Uh, so I found this awesome new package a couple months ago or so. Uh, it's under the GitHub Stretcher org. Um, and it's Testify. Specifically, it's Testify's test suites uh, functionality. So you might have heard of Testify. Uh, they've got, that package has uh, some assertions and requirements functionality. It's generally stuff that like extends the Go testing standard library. Uh, and I think Suite kind of wraps everything up uh, in a really, really nice package that lets you write way more powerful tests, makes it really convenient to do so. So we're not really talking about replacing the standard library. We're talking about building a ton on top of it. Uh, so you can go over and check out the docs for kind of more info. Uh, this is a really, really well documented library. And I always try to find you guys really well documented stuff. Uh, but this thing is crazy good. Um, I barely had to learn anything on my own. I kind of just read the docs and that was it. I just kind of went from there. So great example here. Um, there's a struct that kind of holds all of our suite variables, our kind of test wide var variables. Excuse me. Uh, and then we've got some setup functionality. We've got an actual test that runs function that runs test code against our functionality. And then this is kind of our entry point. This is where uh, the Go test tool will actually find this and it will actually run the test. And then this is kind of like our entry point to running the entire suite. So if we go back to our code, we can kind of see that reflected in here. So this is kind of our test suite. We always embed suite.suite into it, and that's how we get access to all this awesome functionality. So we've got a setup function for the entire suite. It runs once. Got a setup function for each test, so it runs once before each test. And then we've got the teardowns for the individual test and the teardown for the entire suite. And then this is that same entry point. So again, like go test is going to pick this up uh, and then we're going to call suite.run and that's the kind of gateway to everything. So before we go in to look at some test logic, I want to just really, really briefly show you the functionality we're going to test. This is basically a cache. We've got two operations that run against it. Uh, you can call transform, which is basically like a get and set. So it gets the key out of the cache. If it existed, then it runs the value through this function. Uh, and then it'll, it'll uh, set the new value back into the cache. Uh, so if all that happened, it returns true, otherwise it returns false. And then you got your basic remove. So it'll remove the key and value, uh, this key and the value, if it existed, and then return true. Otherwise, we're going to return false as that Boolean. All right, so we've got our basic test setup stuff here that I just showed. Uh, let's go check out one of the tests. Let's ch check out the test for the transform. So you see here, pretty basic. We don't have to really import anything in this case. We don't have any of the Go testing kind of standard uh, function signatures. We're not taking a testing.t type or anything here. This is all run and taken care of by uh, Testify suite. So this is one of the tests as part of our test suite. Right here, we get access to Testify's awesome assertions library. So we can we can do all of our test code um, here. We, we seed something to the cache, we call transform, and we wanna make sure that transform did the right thing, right? So we call uh, r.true, remember r was that assertions library. So here we're gonna essentially make sure the thing was actually transformed. Now we're gonna make sure that the actual transformation put the right value back in the cache, and down we go. So we've tested, now we're gonna test a different case, we're gonna test another case, and this is great because we have only written the stuff, the test code that we care about. There's no more boilerplate or setup or teardown or anything. That all we wrote once inside of this kind of, the single test file that did all the bootstrapping. And even better here, another thing you don't see is that this function and all the other test functions, like we've got our test function for remove here, they all run concurrently. Right? I mean, we can override that with the go test flag if we want to, but by default, these are all going to run concurrently. And because of the way that we set up the test bootstrapper, we're making sure that before each test, we get a brand new transformer. And that's really, really great 
because we don't have to worry about sharing state or anything like that, right? So this is super nice. Uh, we we kind of get a lot of stuff for free here that we don't have to worry about, um, but we otherwise would have to worry about if, for example, we were building some test framework from scratch, right? So super cool stuff. Really encourage you to go check it out. Uh, the code here is pretty well documented so you can see kind of what's going on. Uh, and then of course, again, you can go check out the GoDocs and they're super well documented too. So final thought, uh, this is kind of easy to bring in piecemeal to your code. You don't have to convert all your tests over to this thing. Uh, you might be able to convert like one or two over to this thing, see how it kind of feels, and then you can expand from there. Uh, so just like a lot of the other libraries I introduce, uh, this is a really, really nice way to kind of get started with it and then you can move your code kind of more over to it as appropriate. So that is it for today. Uh, we talked about test suites. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you next time. Take care everybody.